Good evening and welcome to Tuesday Night Takeaway. It's the show that is always better when you don't have to make it yourself. Hey, look, we've upgraded after our last show. We got the call up, the big budget for the studio. Unfortunately, that means we've had to downgrade in our co-host, Michael Caruso. <laughs> welcome. You got, you got a little bit of a... Just there. a little bit left over. Yeah. Well, it's Tuesday yeah. Night Takeaway. It's, yeah. uh, thank you welcome. for having me on. Yeah, super subbing in for Chad Nalon yep. tonight. So thanks for joining us. And I mean, I'm surprised actually to get the super sub call, particularly after the performance that we saw from Marcus Ambrose. Oh, I mean, right. Okay. But he's, his rate has skyrocketed, no doubt. So uh, yeah, good to get the call. We couldn't <laughs> afford the charter fly over from Launceston. <laughs> we could get a cab charge to get you here to yeah, Studio, awesome. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, plenty coming up on the show tonight. Let's take a look at what's on the menu. First of all, we're going to chalk, chalk talk to our <laughs> most recent race winner, Chaz Mostert. Uh, James Courtney also is giving us some safety tips, which is a bit scary. <laughs> then we're going to live chat with Tom Randall after his big day testing at Winton. And coming up under the roller door this week is Macaulay Jones with a uh, special little project. Cannot wait to see that. Uh, well, <laughs> Looks like it's got a long way to go. <laughs> just a little bit. Just the interior. This needs a bit of a, a refinish. Uh, it would be remiss of us not to start by looking back at the weekend. The Bow Repairs Tasmania Super Sprint. Three races down at Simmons Plains Raceway. Let's take a look at some of the highlights. Yeah, the Boost Mobile highlights. It all kicked off here with Macaulay Jones. The big Mac attack giving us some two-wheel action. That's a great shot and um, not the fastest way around turn two, but, no. it, but uh, definitely look cool. Cam Waters on pole position for the first of three races and it was a good battle between himself and SVG until... Oh, this pass. It, um, it, SVG makes it look really easy, but it's actually quite hard because uh, we know how fast uh, Cam was going on the weekend, but um, SVG went on to uh, absolutely smash it in that race and keep that streak going. Yeah, six in a row, but it was a different story at the start of race two for the weekend. Yeah, LeBrock turned around Anton and that's where the action started, <laughs> right at the beginning of the race. Um, it looks like uh, my good mate Winterbottom got a, got a good run out of that, but one of the uh, the six Kostecki <laughs> brothers in the field actually came very close to totaling his and LeBrock's car. That was a great piece of driving there by Jake. Uh, once again, it was a battle between Waters and Van Gisbergen. These two have been at it all year and it's good to see because uh, I'm really looking forward to that battle coming up in future rounds. But Win Cup, uh, he broke the he broke the duck. Oh. How long has it been since he won a Finally, race? Finally, uh, like first, first different race winner since September 2020. <laughs> and then race three, it was all on. Yeah, look, SVG and uh, Wing Cup working really well together. They seem to do well on track when it comes to, you know, moving forward and they're racing each other. But, um, yeah, this pass here from Scotty Pye was unreal. I really enjoyed watching this. Mm. The cleanest move I've seen at Turn 2. The cleanest, um, dirtiest move, <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> it just looks so seamless. Great. Fantastic. And then, of course, Chas Mostert. Just brain them, didn't he? he? Did. Winning by he just, whole heap. Out of nowhere. It's, um, I mean, he had the pace, but it, to come up with it in that last race, he really wiped the floor with everyone. Yeah, he absolutely did. And it was great not only for him, but also for the Walkinshaw Andretti United team to get their first win. I'm sure there's celebrations yep. probably still going. Well, somewhere. I'm sure Ryan Walkinshaw is uh, enjoying a few beverages over in Monaco somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's probably going to be enjoying beverages until the next round at uh, the Bend, no doubt. But no well doubt. deserved. It's a great result for that team. And speaking of, we have got him on the line. We're going to be chatting for the first of our Hino live chats. It's Chas Mostert. Chaz Mostert, welcome to Tuesday Night Takeaway. Thank you for joining us. It looks like you're at the airport. Is, is that where you're at? You're coming to us live? Yeah, we're not sure about us drivers when we win that we get on this Tuesday night live show. So uh, <laughs> I didn't expect to win on the weekend and uh, they booked a flight basically right at the same time. So yeah, we're in the lounge at the moment. Just high rolling and, it as and, you do. Yeah, um, and what are you, what are you eating inside the lounge? Or can you give us a little show of that? Um, uh, yeah, I've got a, a bit of cheese and biscuits here. <laughs> um, <laughs> which I'm pretty keen for, but I was about to snack on and then obviously called into this call, but um, I've got a beverage, but a, you know, just a Woodstock bourbon and Coke, just a little nightcap before I hop on the plane. Ah, oh, the cheese and crackers of champions, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think it's called. Um, hey, congratulations on your first race win with Walkinshaw Andretti United. How did you celebrate on Sunday night? Uh, yeah, I think um, for me, I was so knackered 
Sunday night and so relieved to get the first win in such a long time and obviously first one for the team. Um, I was just so keen for a sleep. So I, I, when we got landed back in Melbourne, I uh, watched the end of the Formula One and I was just so wrecked. So yeah, didn't get to celebrate. So maybe it might be this weekend. Is that going to be uh, back on the Gold Coast, mate? Is there an invite in the mail? Um, yeah, you can um, come and fly up to Gold Coast, but don't expect me to pay for your flight crew. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, we're just going to quickly dive into a couple of um, fan questions that, that have been sent in to us. I really like this one. This one's from Kieran. It says, if Zach Brown gave you a shot at a Le Mans in an LMDH in 2023, would you give it a shot? Um, is the flight booked? Where's the motel? And um, what date do I have to be there? So that's a yes. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, another one from Charlie via Twitter. Will we see Dan Ricardo at Bathurst? Yeah, we, we'd like to think so. I think it'd be pretty cool if a Formula One drove, driver jumped into our supercars uh, for a race weekend. And obviously, uh, Big DR has obviously showed that he's pretty keen to come race Bathurst 1000. So we'll just have to um, see if the deal can get all put together. But I mean, scheduling is the, always a nightmare for those big uh, Formula One drivers for, for any other racing. So, um, yeah, we'll hope that all the planets align and we'll see if the, the team can kind of make it happen. Um, you're at the airport for a reason because you've been at Winton Raceway today. Tell us what you've been doing there. Yeah, sorry about the background noise, first of all, but I can't really help that. As but, long uh, as it's not your flight yeah, that's boarding, we're okay. <laughs> <laughs> you might see me running in a second, but no, no, it's all good. Uh, yeah, I was at Winton today. Um, obviously, the team just announced that Kirk Kostecki is going to be driving a wild card for three races this year. I think it's Taylor and Ben, Darwin and Barbagello. So, um, yeah, super awesome to see Kirk get that get the gig with the team. Um, he's going to be driving the number 27. Not sure what the sponsors are yet, but um, obviously had his uh, wild card test today at, uh, out of Winton today. So, just went up there to support him. Um, feels like two racetracks in such a short time, but um, it's always a lot of fun to get up there to our test track and... Um, yeah, just get his feedback on the car. It's always good to hear another driver's feedback on um, on where we've progressed from last year to this year. Now, Chazzy, your socks have become the talk of not just pit lane, but all the race fans as well. Mate, can you tell us a little bit about what's going on here? Because why are your whole team wearing them as well? Yeah, I'm not too sure about my team, but normally I, I wear pretty <laughs> wild socks. Each, uh, each weekend. I thought I actually had the most wild socks in the airport, but I've been proved, proved wrong well, as uh, off air before. So, we want to um, see what socks are you yeah, wearing? Think, uh, what are your socks are you wearing right now? Have you got your face on your own socks? Uh, what is that? Watermelon? <laughs> Watermelon. <laughs> yeah, it sounds bad too. These are the socks I wore on Sunday race oh, as well. So, no. uh, I just, 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 I just feel like I'm soaking still in the, the moment. Yeah. Obviously, they're lucky, so have, I just want to keep them on as long as I can. But have, um, have you taken, face, have you the taken them off from the weekend? <laughs> no, no, I sleep in my socks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just socks. Just, just socks. <laughs> now you said that you weren't, you weren't wear, you're the one that wasn't wearing the wilder socks or something at the airport. Does that mean someone's got wilder socks than you? Yes, yes. Well, I've seen some Fruit Loop socks. I'm very jealous. Fruit Loop, come on, can we see I them? Can't, I, 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 can't, I can't show you. I wish I could. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like that relationship's broken down already. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> um, look, we, we're really happy that you got your race win. Uh, we obviously, we heard you um, obviously uh, after the race saying that it was great to get the monkey off your back. We've also seen uh, your team, Walkinshaw Andretti United, you might be able to see that here on their Instagram saying that um, it's great to get the monkey off the back. Well, Chaz, I can confirm here on Tuesday Night Takeaway, we've got an exclusive. This is where the monkeys that were on your back have gone to. They've <laughs> <laughs> gone water skiing. They're enjoying a little bit of time oh. off after being on your back for so long. It looks like they well, got I need to get them off my back as quick as. Oh, and I don't. Oh, oh, I don't think we're oh, no. meant to show that that one. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> That's at your house right now. <laughs> if I knew to get the monkey off the back, just get some good reading material so they'd get off it quicker. <laughs> I would have bought a paper ages ago. All right, thank you so much. Uh, have a safe trip home. We'll see you in Taylor Bend. Thanks, Chaz. Thanks, guys. Cheers. <laughs>
He's a good sport, isn't he? Oh, absolutely. I can't wait to see what his socks are going to smell like by the time oh. we get to the bend. Who does his laundry, Goodness honestly? Goodness gracious. Probably his lovely girlfriend when you give her a, a shout out. And those More monkeys, aren't they like living life? Living large after <laughs> finally getting off of Chaz's back. That one in the toilet, I tell you what, if he walked in and saw that, that would be a bit of a shock to the sister. Oh, if we had a dollar for every time that's happened. <laughs> I wouldn't have any money. Um, okay, James Courtney, uh, one of our favourites here on Tuesday Night Takeaway. Of course, he was a contestant on Channel 7's Dancing with the Stars way back yeah. when. 1985, I believe it was, <laughs> the oldest driver in the field. But <laughs> old JC got the uh, got the guns out and um, did a bit of a shake and wiggle. At, uh, okay, I'm just wondering what he's actually doing there. Yeah, There's what? a lot of dancing going on. But, oh, here we go. Oh. Here Look we at him go. moving away over there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, he has uh, he's moved on from his dancing days and ventured into um, maybe a new spin-off show. Uh, we're going to take a look at that now. It's James Courtney in Marshalling with the Stars. Welcome, James. Thank you. Your it's first, exciting. Your first time as a marshal. For coming along and being a first time marshal, you get a lovely water bottle. Does it have any soup in it? Not yet. Okay. And inside we also have your uniform, which you'll be wearing down the, when you're out there marshalling. Let's get that out. Let's have a look at it. Okay, it doesn't look like the one that you've got on. No, I'm not out in the track. Sequence, guys, so at least I'm going to be seen. Bedazzled? Bedazzled. Bedazzled, yes. It's, it's uh... <laughs> okay. And you get a special hat. Okay. Like that straight on. And there's a key ring that says you're officially awesome. Okay, I'll put that on the uh, Mustang keys. We're good to go. All right, when can I start telling people what to do? Now. You're official. Okay, thank you. Let's go get into it. <laughs> Right, yeah, so we're going to cruise down now and make sure everyone's doing what they should be doing. Might have to do some social distance gapping, get some holding fans away. Mask needs to be over the nose, thanks pal. Over the nose. Camera, uh, photos are a different time from now. Neil Crompton, 1.5 metres mate, stay away from me. That's not enough. <laughs> Two and a half metres for Neil. Four to holding fans. Okay, Ford comes to the front. Come on up, let's come. Don't worry about the line. Ford people come to the front. You can come all the way into the garage. You're a Ford fan. Okay, this is Crunch. He'll tell you about the car. Have a look around. We look after the Ford ones. Not a lot to police here. Everyone's sort of being good, aren't they? Wine in the snow. Wine in the snow. Yeah, it was pretty good. That's what us officials do. Drink wine. We've heard that from Jamie Wink up at times, haven't we? Bagging us about about drinking wine. They don't know how hard we have to work, do they? Yeah. You like my vest? Maybe we could trade vests at some point. What do you think? I like the pink. Go nice with my eyes. Just holding together this thing. I think it's over the noise capacity. Peters, can we quieten it down a little? It's too noisy, mate. Just switch her off. I think I found a uh, breach here. I'm not sure what this guy's drinking or if he's putting in the fuel tank. Just gonna... oh, that's just making sure that's no jungle juice or anything. <laughs> what's happening there? Code. Just out of the club, hey? Hey, Ludo, I'm the official here. I'm the one with the power of this situation. <laughs> okay, it's only coffee, guys. We're sweet. That's good. Oh. Right here, we found a good looking machine here. Making no noise at all. And the prettiest guy in pit lane. Causa. Beautiful yeah. machine. What are you doing here, mate? Making a. Yeah, just doing a tune up, mate. Are you going fast? Yeah, that's an awesome shot over the shoulder of the hardworking marshals down there at turn four. Opportunity is always to just shout out to all of the volunteers that are participant in the event. So we've got a various amount of roles. So it can start from event officials, which help uh, get people in through the gates, get them in grandstands, through our corporate suites, right up to our race officials, which are the flag marshals, the pit lane marshals, uh, race control. Every part that you see that happens on the track is someone volunteering and being an official. Please welcome James Courtney to the racetrack doing the flag manco. <laughs> Let's get the 
Oh, sport. what a good sport James <laughs> is. <laughs> yeah, it was, that was he very well done. that flag really, really well. <laughs> yeah. I think the judges' scores there were 10, 10, 10, 10 and a 4. So it makes up 44. So he did all right. Okay. Um, but if you are interested in being a marshal or a volunteer at any of our circuits, uh, you can email volunteer at supercars.com. I'm sure they'd be more than happy to hear from you. And like he said uh, to me earlier, there's so many advantages to actually being a marshal or volunteer. And we're, and we're lucky in our sport because the sport can't function without the volunteers, but they actually get some of the best points to watch the race or you know, obviously they're yeah. working, but um, they get to sit in the best points. You know, imagine Skyline being a flaggy and watching the 1000 from there. It's, yeah. Uh, sounds yeah. like a good day out on Absolutely. the Absolutely. Just looking at some of the comments that are coming in live. Hello to Brendan Corlett. You're in New Zealand enjoying from across the Dutch. Can't wait for the Supercars event here in November. Of course, we uh, announced on the weekend going to Pukekohe Raceway, November 6 to 7. So that'll be good to get we, back overseas. We love our Kiwi fans. We and sure they're very do. passionate and they've had uh, quite a bit of success with their drivers, haven't they? Yeah, yeah they do past. just a little bit, I'm sure. So. Plenty to cheer for when we get to November. Uh, Aaron Reinke, when are you going to team up with your dad at Bathurst? I think that question might have been for Chaz because I'm definitely not driving with my dad <laughs> at Bathurst. Are you driving with your dad at Bathurst? Uh, he'd no. love to drive. Never say never? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, well, we won't, uh, we won't say no to that. Um, so JC had a big day at the racetrack with uh, his volunteering. So did our next guest, Thomas Randall, has had a big day at the racetrack. He is the second of our Hino live chats for tonight. Hello, Tom. How are you? Hey, guys. I'm doing well, thank you. What about yourselves? Well, it looks like we've uh, caught you on the way to uh, the fish and chippery, mate. Well, you did say that Chaz is living in luxury in the in the suite at the airport, but I'm living luxury in my Saab 93 wagon. <laughs> but I've got <laughs> got my dad chauffeuring me home from Winton, so it's I'm not not uh, not driving and using the phone. So yeah, it's we're all safe here, but we're just heading through the city and got about 45 minutes to go before we get home. But um, yeah, came for a good sleep tonight. Now, um, mate, you've been out testing at Winton today. Can you tell us? Uh, how it went, uh, you know, do you feel comfortable in the car and uh, are you getting up to speed? Look, the day went really well and we got actually very lucky with the weather because it was meant to rain and we just just finished the day before the, the rain kicked in, but it was great to get back into the, the Tickford Mustang, um, certainly as a, as a fast car. The last time I had a, like a dedicated Mustang test day was back in mid-2019 for our wild card back then, so really cool to get in the in the Mustang and see the Castrol car on track it it just looks looks really good and can't thank Castrol enough uh, and the other sponsors on the car ACF Ensire, Herzog Steel and I can't wait for, for the bend it's, it's gonna be fantastic and then we've got Perth oh sorry Darwin then Perth so a couple good rounds coming up. Which one are you most looking forward to out of those three wildcard events? Probably oh it's a tough one I'd say Tail and Ben because I've got some really good experience there in a range of vehicles in my dad's Saab sports sedan. Not the Saab I'm driving, not the Saab we're driving right now, but... <laughs> Thanks uh, for clearing that up, mate. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. This is just a 1.9 turbo diesel, but I've also driven there in the S5000 and I had my, my debut supercar around there in 2019. So, um, yeah, really can't wait to get stuck into it. Got a very important question. What's Harvey the Golden Lab up to? Uh, to be honest, he's probably destroying more more wires at home. <laughs> he wrecked the he wrecked the all the the gate system at home, the automatic gates. So we spent a few days fixing that, and he doesn't know any better. So he just thinks it's food, and it's all right. We'll, we'll, we'll train him, but he's doing great, and it's amazing that yeah, I got him. When I was up in Queensland last year in lockdown, brought him to Bathurst for the 1000 and then brought him back home to Melbourne and he's getting along really well with the family. But yeah, I can't wait to see him when I get home tonight. Yeah, he's super cute. What's his Instagram handle again for those that want to follow him? <laughs> Harvey <laughs> Golden think, Lab? Well, <laughs> yeah, Harvey the Golden Lab. You, you reminded me, I need to up, up, update the Instagram account. I've, I've been a bit slack there and I think everyone really wants to see some good quality Harvey content and there's... There's plenty on my on my gallery, so I, I really should 
Yeah, thanks for reminding me of that. Yeah, you're update that. Hey, Thomas, <laughs> can you give us a uh, exclusive here tonight um, about who you're driving with for the Enduros? Because I know you're gearing up for your wildcard entries, but um, we know you're getting, gaining some experience and gaining some laps to pair up for the, uh, the biggest race of the year. I think that's a question for Tim, to be honest. <laughs> no, well, we already know. We just want you to confirm it and then we'll tell you that that's exactly what we oh, thought. You, oh, you know, do you? Yeah, oh, we just oh, can't. It could be a different we'll answer. you to say no, it first. I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually know at the moment. It's it's one of the three, so. Oh, oh <laughs> wow. thanks, mate. What an exclusive. Yeah, I know, tough. It's 33%, you get a 33 chance of getting it right. So. <laughs> I reckon it's going to be James Courtney. That's my pick. Nod. A nod. No, what were you, you, you going to say, Michael? What were you going to say, Michael? Uh, yeah, I, I'm actually going to go with James as well. That's a yes. That is Just definitely yeah. a yes. Oh, the, the sweat, <laughs> the beads of sweat reckon, are running down the head. Yeah, That's it. That, that pause. Confirmed. Run the story there on we the go. website. Run the story, Thanks, guys. <laughs> Exclusive right here on Tuesday. <laughs> I think you You've got Tim's number. You can clarify that one. With you. <laughs> um, look, we'll let you go. Thank you so much for taking some time out on your um, your busy drive back from Winton. <laughs> it's great to have you on the grid at the OTR Super Sprint at the Bend. Look forward to seeing you then and seeing what you can do. Thanks so much, Tom. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Hopefully the time gets us home. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I swear he's got to deal with sub. I've never heard the word sub <laughs> more times than in those few minutes. <laughs> he probably does. Um, isn't that great, though? So cool to have um, not only Tom Randall, but obviously Kurt Kostecki joining the field as yeah. a wildcard. So 26 cars at uh, at least two, maybe three of the events coming up this and year. It, it is cool. good because uh, now that we know that obviously Bathurst is the only co-driver event, Gaining that experience through the year and, and getting enough time inside the car is, is crucial and, and I'm sure they'll use that experience really well when we get around to October. So um, for you know drivers like yourself who don't get a chance to do a wild card, where do you get your miles? How do you keep your, your seat time up ahead of the endurance race? It's a good question. I mean, I am, I am racing in the TCR Championship, but... Yeah. Um, I've been thinking about it because I'd like to get some more miles. Maybe Uber. Maybe Uber's <laughs> a go because you get paid to do it as well. So paid gig um, right. and meet interesting people as well. Sure. Um, <laughs> would you have the mints and the water in the, the back seat? Uh, why not? We you know what? It. If you do that and you get a five-star rating, I will give you four extra grid spots starting the Bathurst 1000. Because I can do that. I've yeah. got the power. <laughs> yeah, well, you've got the people. official shirt on. I, <laughs> yeah, they I didn't sure, give me one, so it's yeah. nice. <laughs> yep, I sure do. So there you go. Five stars and, you know, you'll start off the first couple of rows, guaranteed. Why don't we, why don't we send it out to the people to see if they want me to deliver some food to them? <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Let's do that. Um, no one is keen no responses. right now. What a surprise. <laughs> uh, we're going to have a look at our new segment here on Tuesday Night Takeaway. It's called Under the Roller Door and across the year we're going to check out what some of the supercar drivers have under their roller doors tonight. It's Macaulay Jones. All right, this is one of the projects that I have got going on. It's a uh, 1974 Audi 100. There, uh, there's not many in the country and there's not many that are running still. So it's something that I sort of picked up the bug from my dad with his Audi days and, and I've sort of followed Audi for, for a long time. So I thought, why not try and get one on the, on the road myself? Um, as you can see, there's a fair bit of work going on. I've sort of stripped the whole thing over the past year um, in the process of getting the paint off it, which is uh, pretty painstaking at the moment. So it's a very tedious um, project, but I'm gonna go sort of stock um, back to what it was stock and then maybe put some airbags on it to, to lower it to uh, make my own style on it so um, and then another project I'd love to do is, is one of my dad's uh, old Audi Super Tours that, that we have around here in, in a million pieces so yeah this is just a just one part of my uh, my garage collection yeah that's pretty cool isn't it not a bad little uh, gig there <laughs> yeah not much work to go no. should be done in the next week or so do you reckon Couple of weeks. Couple Let's weeks. give him a couple of weeks. Couple of weeks. Okay. Uh, look, we think that actually Thomas Randall's mum was watching um, the live stream. So, Mrs. Randall, they're on their way home. I reckon Poppy's dinner in the microwave, and by the time it's reheated, he'll be home <laughs> to join you. Uh, that's all that we've got time for tonight on Tuesday Night Takeaway. Michael, thank you so much for sitting in, not on Chad Nalon, sitting in for. <laughs> no worries. And Chad, <laughs> and uh, have a look, name the baby after me. Michael is a great name. Uh, very. Goes with the flow, looks good on Michael cards. Nalon, you think? Michael Nalon, how good does that sound? I personally like Con Rod. Con Rod Nalon. 
no. If you can think of anything better, please put it in the comments because I, I don't think he's actually chosen a name. Anyway, that's enough from us tonight. Uh, don't forget, you can keep tuned to what's going on in supercars along the supercars.com website and their Facebook page. And we will see you again at the OTR Super Sprint in a couple of weeks. Bye for now.